How's it going everybody? Um, my name is Lachlan, I do guitar videos here on YouTube, mostly tutorials, um, some covers, um, but primarily what I do is whenever new songs come out, I listen to them and learn them so that I can put up the tutorials as quick as possible. Um, and I haven't really deviated from that content much ever, really. My whole goal on YouTube is just being the first person to put up a tutorial, explain it in a succinct way, um, so that you guys can learn the songs that you love. Um, I've always appreciated the community that I've had here. Um, it brings me great joy to get the comments of, uh, I can't believe this is up. Thank you so much. You've helped me so much. Um, and I really like it when people really get passionate about wanting to learn the guitar or enjoy the process of learning. Um, this is a sort of little side project, sort of hobby thing that I do on YouTube. In my day-to-day -day life, I uh, teach at university. Um, and I've sort of taught for a long time across a number of different subjects. Um, and I want to sort of make a video to explain or sort of give some advice for people who wanted to be great at their instrument or want to learn anything really, but essentially about their instrument and specifically guitar. Uh, I started learning guitar when I was 15, 15, 16, and I was always very motivated to learn guitar because it was something that I wanted as part of my identity. So I always wanted to be someone who could create their own music, listen to songs that they heard on Spotify, the radio, wherever, and be able to reproduce it. I think that I was a very uh, fulfilling endeavor and I wanted to make it something that was part of my identity. Um, when I was younger, however, uh, due to logistic reasons in my life, I couldn't actually go to guitar lessons and um, get sort of formalized training. Um, and as a result, I became a bit more uh, like a chip on my shoulder, uh, wanting to say, you know, I'm going to teach myself. I don't care. I'm going to, it sort of added fuel to the fire. And I remember getting my guitar and thinking, this is going to be a long process. I don't know much about it, but fuck anyone who, or any barriers that are stopping me. The, the mentality that came from that ultimately was that any improvements that I saw or uh, any version of being able to play guitar, whether it was horrible to perfection, in my mind was actually a positive because it was better than nothing. So I always came into it the mentality of I'm going to suck. There's no reason why I should be good. Um, and as a result, it was very freeing to be able to teach myself and be pretty elated and pretty stoked whenever I learned anything at all. So I guess the first thing, the first sort of point that I want to make is that if you're coming into something new, like an instrument or like guitar specifically, celebrate any improvements that you have. And this, this stems from a beginner all the way up to an advanced player. You're essentially giving yourself the gift of music. So in any form that you're able to progress, you should be stoked that you're someone who actually gets to be a musician, if that makes sense. Like it's it's pretty amazing that you get to, after putting all this work, be able to play a piece of music or be someone who identifies with music. Um, yeah, so I guess that helped me along the way and it really motivated me because any time that I had any form of improvement, it was like, it was addicting really, because it was just like, oh sweet, if I can do this, what can I do with the next part? So that's the first part. Practically speaking, a lot of people have difficulty when they're self-teaching because they don't know what's next. They don't know what the next step is. Um, do I learn these beginner songs? Where do I find the beginner songs? Do I learn beginner skills? Do I learn music theory? What's the, uh, what's the, the protocol here? And my suggestion would be try and learn whatever you listen to, no matter how hard it is, and that will actually show you what you need to know. So for instance, when I first started playing guitar, one of the first songs that I ever wanted to learn was Rolling Stone by The Weeknd. Now that's a three chord song. It's got bar chords in it and it's got finger picking in it, right? Now, I didn't know any of those terms when I started playing guitar because I was self-taught. But what I found was when I looked up the tab, First off, I had to figure out what tab was. Um, I figured out that I need to know how to play these things called bar chords, and it's in a finger picking style. So right there, that was two points of um, 
the two avenues to go down to actually, all right, these are two skills that I'll need to know. So uh, I went down those rabbit holes and then what you'll find is that on forums and online, when you type in barcodes, certain uh, content creators or um, websites will actually give you examples of songs with bar chords or finger style in it. And then you actually go down the rabbit hole of, okay, if I can't unlock this song yet, as if it's like a video game, if you can't unlock this level yet, let's try and do the one below it. Uh, perhaps it has a, a simpler finger picking pattern or something like that. But what I would say is you should always try and challenge yourself. Don't avoid learning a song because you can't play it perfectly or can't play every part. I'd much prefer it and it'd be, uh, going back to the first point, it would be much more exciting if I could play the easy part of a very difficult song versus play most of a really, really basic song. You sort of surprise yourself when you push yourself um, to what you can actually achieve. Um, one of the great benefits of being self-taught is you're not in a system that might restrict you if you're passionate or progressing at a rate faster than your teacher. So I know a lot of people and a lot of famous artists that were self-taught and progressed at a pretty alarming rate because they were passionate, spent the time, but they also challenged themselves past the expectations of the teachers. There's no technique in guitar that should restrict you from um, learning hard songs. You might have a, a rough time learning the hard songs, but you'll learn heaps of stuff along the way. So you should try and push yourself pretty hard to learn the really hard stuff. Um, and go down the rabbit holes of what you need to learn um, to actually eventually overcome that song. For instance, when I was two weeks into playing guitar, I started watching videos on Ocean by John Butler. Now that song is a pretty behemoth task. It's pretty massive for any guitarist really. Um, and I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to play it because I was a beginner. However, my mentality was one, I'm not expected or no one's expecting me to be able to play guitar full stop. And second of all, if I'm able to play a slight bit of this song, it's gonna seem really impressive to me and to others to demonstrate you can actually play kind of a bit of Ocean. That's really sick. And you've only been playing how long? Right. So no one expects anything. You don't expect anything of yourself. Try and learn the easy part of hard songs. Um, the third thing I would say, so when you're immersing yourself in an instrument, People have the mistake of thinking that they should only be learning one song at a time. And if they are having difficulty with one song, they have to wait until they can play that song to learn other pieces. This is rubbish. This is gonna plateau your progress. This is gonna demotivate you to help, all right? What you should be doing is learning multiple songs simultaneously as if they're like progress bars. So you might learn one song to this amount, think, right, I'm stuck here now. Then you learn another song and you learn another song. I think when I first started, I'd basically try and learn every single song that came on the radio or came on that I listened to thinking, oh, can I learn a little part of this song? Um, it's not about trying to finish and polish off any one song in particular. It's just about getting the practice in of the actual learning experience because there's a, there's a skill, it's like a meta skill of actually learning songs. Like for me now, the reason why I can do this on YouTube is because I've learned so many songs constantly. Um, irrespective of how many I can play through properly and fully and retain. So for instance, when I learn a new song these days, there's a process of, okay, what key is it in? What type of picking pattern or strumming or what kind of song is it? What does it sound like that I've learned in the past? How can I chunk it down? All those skills come from the repeated process of learning songs over and over again and learning heaps at the same time. Um, I remember when I first started, there'd be certain chords that I couldn't play. So I'd go, right, I'm gonna learn songs that don't have that chord in it for a bit until I get good enough and strong enough to be able to play it. For instance, there's some skills that you're not gonna be able to do right off the bat or it's gonna be time restricted. So for instance, playing bar chords without it buzzing is something that doesn't come for a while. And by a while, I probably mean like a month or so. Um, but that shouldn't stop you from learning other songs. There's hundreds of songs that are easier or have different skills that will develop you rather than waiting on one song and playing one song badly. You wanna give yourself the gift of being able to hear the music come out of your hands. It's a very uh, meaningful and fulfilling experience to be able to actually play something with your hands, regardless if it's easy or not. Because at the beginning, it's such a, a wonder to be able to actually make noises that aren't scratchy and horrible. So, um, learn lots of songs simultaneously and don't worry about finishing them off completely. Um, 
think of it as like little puzzles that you can pick up, fiddle with for a bit and then put down and then do something else. That will motivate you tremendously. And also as an identity, you'll be able to actually think about the fact, no, I can semi play a lot of songs. Um, for instance, I know a lot of people who, when they give up an instrument, it's because they learnt one or two songs. They might've been too hard, but they were demotivated because, well, they could only play one or two songs. They weren't able to sort of call themselves a, a pianist or a guitarist because their repertoire wasn't that deep. Whereas for instance, if someone's just obsessed with the learning process and they've learnt about 20 songs kind of poorly, they still know heaps of songs, like heaps of components of songs. They've built a wealth of knowledge. So that's the next thing. Uh, one thing that I would say about learning an instrument is that you should really be trying to celebrate it as the process of becoming someone who can pick up any song. Another point that I should make is that when you're picking up an instrument, you want to immerse yourself in the music that revolves around that instrument. If you're someone who wants to play guitar, but you listen to mainly R&B and hip hop, um, whilst you will eventually be able to play that music, you want to actually start to deviate in your music tastes and start to listen to the classics of that instrument. Um, and the nice thing and like the gift of learning an instrument is you'll start to appreciate new um, genres that you wouldn't have otherwise really delved into because you're starting to understand the complexities and the technique and what's actually happening in the songs. Uh, for instance, I never listened to Jimi Hendrix until 2018. Far, far, even into me learning an instrument. Um, I don't think it's something that I would have actually gotten into have I not been playing guitar. I'm looking up at the moment because the vinyl's on my wall, uh, Electric Ladyland. Um, but yeah, really immerse yourself in the different, you know, best guitarists or legendary guitarists or... Um, any legendary solos or moments in history. I, I really found that connecting myself to a lineage or a history greater than myself um, sort of provided me with like a sense of community or a sense of belonging when I was learning to play guitar. So not only was I learning an instrument and learning skills, I was actually becoming a part of a community or a, a, um, a culture that was bigger than myself. Um, and the more that you listen to artists that actually utilize the instrument that you want, so for instance, guitar, the more you'll be exposed to songs that you want to learn. And then as soon as you know it, there's 30 songs that you want to learn or start learning in pieces that you're adding to your repertoire. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be able to listen to music you didn't listen to before and appreciate aspects that you wouldn't have even picked up on before. One thing that I noticed when I started learning guitar was that there were so many nuanced production and instrumental components to songs that I'd never really processed before because I wasn't aware of how the instrument worked or I don't know, like, like for instance, um, when I started learning piano, I started picking up on all the piano pieces in songs. And I, I thought that was a beautiful thing. Um, for, and, you know, likewise, when I started producing music, um, I started to listen to things like the actual, um, the distribution of sounds across a song, the volume of certain components, the effects, you know, the, the panning, everything like that started to actually jump out at me. So I think not only is learning an instrument um, and becoming obsessed with the instrument good because you're learning an instrument, you're also developing a deeper understanding of the music. And personally for me, it's a beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, number four. Another point that's gonna help you develop very quickly is always having a guitar on hand, near you, next to you, beside you, making it as easy as possible for you to pick up the instrument wherever you are. Um, this will reduce the amount of barriers that are around you to prevent you from practicing. Um, it'll stop you from viewing practice as like some formalized perfectionistic process in the first place. Um, basically make your guitar like a fidget spinner or something that you can fiddle with that's around you at all times. So for instance, my bedroom set up so that I've got guitars on that wall, I've got guitars over there, I've got an amp over there, I've got music around me, it's all around. I've got that speaker there that what I can do is I can put on Spotify, play it, and then just play along to any melody that I, I want to sort of practice, even though it's just me having fun. Um, if you're just sitting there watching YouTube videos and you just have a guitar in your hand and you're just doing anything, like just fiddling, not even playing a piece that you've been learning, you're gonna start to develop like an affinity for that thing. Um, I don't, this is sort of like a nerdy reference, but in, in uh, Vagabond, which is like this samurai um, 
manga type thing, there's a character which is deaf and because he's deaf and he loves swords, all he does is play with the sword and he doesn't practice. He just plays with it because it's fun. It's something to fiddle with. And, you know, he has a limited range of things that he's capable of doing, but it's always around him, you know, just like a guitar, it's always around him. He's fiddling with it and he's just enjoying messing with something. He's not expecting anything. There's no practice behind it. But as a result, he becomes an expert because his body and his hands have adapted to manipulating this object over and over again. So for instance, for me, for years, I would probably practice like four to five hours a day, but it was never really practiced because I'd be sitting there just fiddling, you know, not even paying attention to the noise, really, just having it in my hands, having it near me, um, watching YouTube videos on it and just trying something random here and there. So, you know, you want to actually like surround yourself with the instrument and make it really easy for you to just pick it up, try it for like two minutes, then put it back down. There's nothing that says that you need to pick it up, practice scales and then put it down. I don't think I've ever really done that, to be honest. Um, so yeah, make it very easy for you to pick up a guitar wherever you are. Uh, some instruments are going to be a bit harder than others for that. For instance, you're not going to just like pick up a drum kit. Um, but with the guitar, it's like the people's instrument. So you're able to pick it up and play it wherever. And, um, you know, if you're at a friend's house and there's a guitar, try and pick it up. You know, if you're at a guitar shop and even if you're garbage and, you know, everyone will be when they first start, just pick it up and have a fiddle. I remember when I first started, I would walk into JB Hi-Fi in shopping malls, walk through, try and find the guitar, play a little bit, um, sort of have a giggle and then walk off. That's it. So pick it up wherever you are. Play with it even when you're not practicing. Don't view practice as some formalized process. So I've sort of like informally laid out some tips and uh, points to think about when you're learning an instrument. Um, I guess I just wanted to start making some videos more like this, more conversational. Uh, one, because I really love the community aspect of the YouTube, you know, comment section I have here, but also to, um, well, teach in a way that's not just tutorial based the process, um, guide sort of beginners on how to actually commence and self-teach on the guitar. My goal has always been to get people to the point where they can teach themselves rather than be dependent on me or a teacher or any sort of formalized system um, because I feel like passion can truly thrive in those situations. You know, all of the really unique guitarists and musicians, most of them self-taught and had quirks that they developed as a result of not being formalized in training. Um, and I think that's a beautiful thing. So comment down below any questions you might have. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed the rambles and let me know if there's any other topics that I want that you want me to delve into. Um, I hope that I was articulate in my speech. I've basically just been rambling. Um, yeah. Thanks guys. Have a good day.